In this two-part video, we'll explore the temperature of a thermal mass using one of MATLAB's built-in ODE solvers, ODE45. The first video will be more of a qualitative analysis using face portraits and anticipated solutions. The next video will actually solve the ODE numerically. This ODE describes the temperature of a hot mass over time. It has an initial temperature, T0, and is being externally heated by this heat source term, G of T. The mass is surrounded by air of temperature T infinity. If the air temperature is lower than the mass's initial temperature, the mass is gradually cooled. On the other hand, if the air temperature is higher than the mass's initial temperature, the mass is gradually heated. The heat transfer coefficient h governs the rate of heat transfer. You can apply conservation of energy to the mass to obtain this ODE. It's a first order ODE because the highest derivative it has is this dt dt term. It's linear because the t is not squared, exponentiated, used as an input to something like a sine function, or anything like that. This means our face portrait should be a negative diagonal line because of the minus sign here. We should draw the face portrait and anticipated solution before we dive into MATLAB so we know what to expect when we eventually call the ODE45 function. Let's go ahead and sketch the face portrait and anticipated solution. Here we have the ODE, initial condition, and axes for our face portrait and anticipated solution. To sketch the face portrait, we first need to find the fixed points. We do so by setting the derivative equal to zero and solving for p. When we set dt dt equal to zero, we get t equals t infinity plus gv over has. This tells us that the steady state temperature is proportional to the external heat source g and inversely proportional to the heat transfer coefficient h. If g equals zero, then the steady state temperature is just the ambient temperature t infinity. This is akin to taking something out of the oven or freezer and letting it cool off or thaw respectively. In the first parameter study we're going to do, there's going to be no external heat generation, so g equals zero. This means that the mass will eventually settle to the ambient temperature, t infinity. Now let's say g is non-zero, as is the case for some of the other parts of the problem. Increasing the heat transfer coefficient h increases the amount of heat transferred between the mass and the surrounding air. If h increases, it means more heat is transferred from the mass to the air, so it eventually settles at a lower temperature. The face portrait is a straight line with a negative slope. Now we classify the stability of the fixed point. The portion from zero to the fixed point is positive, so we draw a right arrow. We draw a left arrow in the region after the fixed point because the derivative is negative. The arrows converge to the fixed point, so it is stable and is also the steady state temperature. Now we can draw the anticipated solution. The initial temperature is some positive number, so we start from there and trend towards the steady state temperature. Let's assume the initial temperature is higher than the ambient temperature. If this is the case, the mass will eventually cool down. We should expect to get this type of curve when we solve the ODE numerically in the next video. See you next time.